Terry, what's the trade? <laughs> <laughs> so I think we have to step back here and obviously have a portfolio lens that still looks to the long-term horizon. A lot of our clients are asking us, okay, why haven't you guys really adjusted your positioning? And one of the things we say is that we do understand short-term market volatility can blur the lens, but at the same time, fundamentals are still supportive we think and have a really big shift in a volatility regime change would cause for basically de a deterioration in economic fundamentals or a shift in macro volatility. And we're just not seeing that from what we got. We do understand we're sympathetic to what happened last week. But again, you have to step back and have much of a longer term view. So is it a sell rally or is it a buy the dip? It is a buying the opportunity. So what we've always thought about in this rally, we understand that it's been pushing higher. You've had obviously tremendous sharp ratios, high returns, low risk. We've now had this adjustment where clients are basically saying, okay, we're potentially gonna have more fiscal easing, which may be accompanied by monetary tightening, but at the same time, step back and again, those fundamentals are still strong. So we, we're encouraging clients, which is 10% correction, to actually put in cash to work because there, is, there has been a lot of cash that was on the sidelines. So Terry, go back to last week. Tell me how many strategists were involved in this sell. Because one of the things I heard over the weekend from a friend of mine at one of the big banks is there were very few people involved. There were a lot of huge funds that were tied into algorithms, particularly when you have the CTAs that Alex just talked about and some of the risk parity trades. They were rebalancing automatically what was going on into the into the close. There is no doubt that there were some of the systematic trading strategies that basically added to some of the, the turmoil last week. But at the same time, too, you also probably had some individual investors, so institutional investors basically saying, OK, maybe we should take some profit at these levels. Markets have gotten really high. But it also, you probably did have some buying investors coming back in at the end of the tail end of the week and saying, OK, maybe I should put some cash to work because really what has changed. Now, what happened two Fridays ago, basically, again, we got the inflation print. That scared a lot of people. Then Monday, we obviously got the exchange-traded product story. But as you got into the latter part of the week, that really developed into the fiscal easing story. That was a significant shift in what happened with real bond yields. And we think that was the bigger story, basically, where you saw a lot of the pressure was a shifting higher in real bond yields.